What's going on? Kyle Welcher here, filming out here with Bass Resource today. I'm going to take y'all through one of my confidence baits, the Missile Baits D-Bomb. And you can see right here, this is my exact setup that I leave on the front deck 95% of the year. It's got a green pumpkin D-Bomb on it right now. And that's what we're talking about right now, summertime bass fishing. And usually, summertime, the rain starts to you know die down a little bit. We have really clear water. We've got less than average current flow. So a green pumpkin or any kind of natural color is going to be the color that I stick to, especially whenever it gets super hot. But I'll tell you, that's one thing that I've heard, you know, as long as I've been bass fishing, is that as soon as the fish come off bed, they really move out super deep, and that is not my experience at all. I feel like a lot of the most aggressive fish and some really, really big ones stay up shallow. They get around those bluegill beds big time. They get on the shad spawn, and they get on the isolated cover as close as they can get to the bluegill beds and the shad spawn. And that's whenever I'm going to go around and I'm going to flip this D-bomb on a half ounce weight to the isolated cover, whether it be the edge of grass where the, the shad were spawning in the morning the bass were feeding on them, or if there's a stump in the back of a pocket behind a bluegill bed, I'm going, to, I'm going to come in, I'm going to make a flip to that stump every single time. But it seems to me like if you can get in current, you can get around bait, some of the biggest and most aggressive fish you know, live shallow, especially in the summertime. And I can't even tell you how many times where I've been having a bad day fishing offshore and I'll just go to the bank and start flipping laydowns or flipping docks or flipping whatever in a tournament with a D-bomb and cull out everything I have for fishing offshore. I mean, it's just, it's a very big misconception that the fish all move offshore. And, and they also don't get a ton of pressure. So what I like to do is the hotter it gets, I like to find the deepest and darkest shade I can find the deepest water as close to the bank as I can find, and you know as much stuff that has contact to the bottom that's making a mat, and contact you know, talk, contact to the bottom of the water, and is making a mat on top of the water, and I try to flip in there, and that's where I get some of my biggest bites I ever get in the summer. But for me, that's what it's pretty much gonna be. It's gonna be trying to flip this half ounce weight in the deepest, darkest, thickest stuff I can find all summer. And usually I get a lot of really, really big bites that time of year. So summer's the least nuance for me. It's a straight cover water type of deal. Go as fast as you can, make as many flips you possibly can, because I don't feel like you have to trick them. In the fall and in the spring, the fish seem to be a little bit harder to get to bite, even when you're around them. But it really seems like to me in the summer, when you put it in front of them, they either bite it or they don't. So I cover as much water as possible and I flip a D-bomb as many times in a day as I possibly can. So that's my setup and how I approach summer fishing with the Missile Baits D-bomb.